Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Let's Go Pikachu. Last episode we made our way to Celadon City, explored Lavender Town and we couldn't really make our way through the Pokemon Tower because we haven't got the Sylph Scope and there was many ghost Pokemon who just kept taking us back to the start of the, uh, the tower so we're going to go back there a little bit later on. Today's episode we're going to get the 4th Gym Badge by defeating Erika and then explore Celadon City. Before we do that there's a few things we need to do. So we're going to quickly go and evolve our Growlithe by using the Firestone and get that really nice Arcanine. And where is... I could be in power-up pocket, won't it? All right, Firestone. Let's use it on uh, Growlithe and get a nice big boy Arcanine. I am so excited for Arcanine, man. Here we go. Oh, it looks so good. So we should ride Arcanine, shouldn't we? Add it to the Pokedex. And then. Oh, look at that! Oh, you move so fast as well! Oh, it's Brock! Hey! I didn't expect to run into you here. What are you doing here, Brock? I'm on my way back from visiting the Celadon City Gym. Keeping in touch with other gym leaders is part of our duties, after all. The girls at the gym all turn me away for some reason, though. <laughs> Actually, I have some uh, pewter crunchies. I bought them as a gift to the gym here. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Oh, and you're probably going to want some tea after eating them. Pewter crunchies can make you thirsty. That's very, very generous of you, Brock. Ah, don't have enough left to give to that uh, thirsty guard now. Anyway, looks like you've been uh, visiting the gyms in other cities. I wish you the best. So the tea we got, do we give that to the guard? Or do we have to still buy some like lemonade or something? Right, so the next thing I want to do is go back into the Pokemon Center because the guy who taught us Zippy Zap, well he's here as well. So we might learn a new move for uh, Pikachu. Oh, it seems you've been having quite a marvelous adventure. That means I should increase the moves I can teach your Pokemon. So, hey you! Do you want to teach a marvelous move to Pikachu? Yes please. Floaty Fool. Okay. Sure. What type is Floaty Fall? Sounds like a water type or oh, flying type. Okay. Alright, I'm going to get rid of Thunder because we don't really need Thunder. But Floaty Fall. Cool. <laughs> Sounds funny, man. So, build a marvelous rel relationship with your Pokemon, okay? I will try. I've come here to collect a lot of Cantonian Sandshrew. If you have a Sandshrew, please trade it for my uh, Sandshrew. Uh, no, thank you. Don't have a Sandshrew, I have a Sand Slash. But I have plenty of Lowland Sandshrew ready to transfer over. Psst, the woman with the Abra at the corner over there? Rumor has it, she's an amazing fortune teller. Okay. Where you at? Ah, her. A Poker Flute awakens sleeping Pokemon. It does so with a sound that only they can hear. I thought we can hear it as well, because the sound of the Poker Flute is really nice. Usually. Sup? Hmm, <laughs> I am Madam Celadon. I'm the one who can look into your future and see the encounters that are, that are to come. Shall I foresee the nature of those fateful allies you have yet to meet? Oh, so you can change the um, nature, right? Is this the woman that does that? I mean, I don't really care too much, but... Let's uh, leave, and now we can go and take on the Celadon Gym. It's going to be super easy now we got a flying-type move for Pikachu, and we have uh, Arcanine, and we've got Charmeleon if you know things get bad. What do you think you're doing running around here? We're Team Rocket, don't you know? I do know. Alright, so Celadon Gym is just down here, but... Just trying to get to it first. And we need Surf to get to that dude. <laughs> yeah, we're going to fully explore Celadon City once we get the Gym Badge, so do not worry about that. Then we'll go to Celadon um, Department Store and hopefully get some stuff. Why are you in that corner there? Oh, Red and Arcanine is so good. Sup? My Jigglypuff has an adamant nature. It's easy to raise its attack stat, but not so easy to raise a special attack. Its double slap is a real slap in the face. <laughs> okay, oh, I got the uh, the pervy guy still. Haha, <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. Uh-huh. I bet that's why you're peeping through the window, mate. <laughs> not because it's full of women. Ooh, so you want to challenge Erica, the gym leader? I'll have you know, we only let trainers with cute Pokemon enter the gym. Do you have one? Here, let me see. Um, I have many cute Pokemon, but will Pikachu do? 
It's cute, super cute. Can, can I just pet it just a bit, please? Uh, no, leave my Pikachu alone. Oh, it feels so good, I just want to bury my face in its belly. It smells good too, I love it. Hey, my Pikachu doesn't, my Pikachu doesn't like his belly being rubbed, so don't touch his belly. But fine then, uh, I guess I have to let you into the Celadon City Gym. As soon as you uh, brought a cute Pokemon and all. Good. Alright. So. Uh, this gym looks... Oh, there's Erica. Her pose right there. She looks like Zamasu from Dragon Ball Super about to fight. Like, just how his position is. Speaking of Dragon Ball Super, cannot wait for part 6 to come out at the end of January. Because Zamasu's just fused with Goku Black and they're about to... Well, Goku and Vegeta are about to go with Vegito. I cannot wait to see the episodes because I haven't seen it before. I haven't watched it in uh, Japanese. I'll wait for them to come out on Blu-ray and then... Whew, man, they are so, so good. It's so good. Anyway, look at our big boy Arcanine. Let's go for that flamethrower. Now hopefully this gym will be really easy to do. Just flamethrower everything. Or heatwave everything. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, bring on the next challenger! There we got these. I guess we can just cut these down, right? Yeah, we'll chop down. And that takes us back to the start, so we don't want to go that way. I do want to try and bow all the trainers in here, just for the last minute XP. Just in case Eriku, you know, it's, it's pretty tough to beat. Yo, what's up? Oh, welcome! I was getting bored. Well... Maybe you should bring like a, you know, magazine to read or something, or crossword to do. I mean, I feel sorry for some of these gym trainers, just having to stand, stand still all day, waiting for a challenger to come in. Can't be fun. <laughs> Alright, execute. Let's go. We're gonna go for a nice flamethrower. Sweet. Okay, level 22. Let's learn Rage. Uh, no thanks. I should really switch Kangaskhan now, because we don't need Kangaskhan on the team. doesn't evolve or anything. Uh, so we can work on evolving someone else. Uh, let's go... Cubone? Because Marowak's level 28, isn't it? Have to party, get rid of Kangaskhan. Alright. Let's continue on. Yo, what's up, girl? Weren't you peeking in here earlier? No, that weren't me, I swear. I ain't the peeping Tom. It's the dude in the window, the old man. Do I look like I'm 50, 60, 100? I'm like 10. Gloom. We beat the Odyssey in one hit, so hopefully we can take out the Gloom in one hit as well. Level 29, so level higher, and it's an evolution, so I don't know if we can do it in one hit, but we'll give it a go. And we can still do it! Oh, this gym's gonna be super easy. I'm like, trying to remember Erica's team, I'm pretty sure she has Victory Bell, Vile Plume, Gloom and Weeping Bell, I'm pretty sure. I think she has four. Sup? Look, look! See my Pokemon! I like the grass type, I like how they're easy to raise. And I like how they're easy to burn with Flamethrower and Heat Wave. Oh, they're good. Too good. Alright, start spamming that Flamethrower then. Got plenty of PP left. I might use that rare candy once Arcanine gets level 29, just so we can just quickly get to level 30 and then we can use some more candy on him before we take on Erica. There's the Weeping Bell. Looks so weird in this game, like it's a big mouth. Like in the old Game Boy stri sprite form, looks fine, but seen inside its mouth now, it's just weird. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, water to level 21, great. Sorry, love. That was easy. Uh, so left, I think, will take us to Erica. We've got right. Let's see what that takes us. Yeah, 
Any more trainers to take on? Oh no, I didn't mean to jump, but to be fair, jumping actually... No, it's not. I'm about to say it might be faster, but it's definitely not. Okay. And... Almost there. There's Erica. There's a lot of trainers in her gym, isn't there? What's your hobby? Yes? Let's battle Pokemon. Sounds good. Alright, Laurie, bring it on. Alright, let's go for that flamethrower. Man, this gym is so easy. Arcanine is so good. I'm so happy we caught that large Growlithe last episode, because it just... Get this bad boy. Makes me so happy. Alright, let's go. Oh, battle you as well. You look like an ace trainer, so you should be a, a little bit tougher than the other ladies in here. I hope. I got that weeping bell. What level is it? Hopefully not too high. Ooh, 31. Okay. Can we still take it out in one hit? Yes, we can. Man, Flamethrower is too good. Yeah, we'll have another battle after this. We can easily get to... Um... Oh, wait. Erica might have a Tangler as well. Yeah, we should easily get to 30 before Erica. Which is going to be good. Nice. Level 28. Oh, sorry, 29. I saw 28 and it's 28. 29. It's crazy how how much better Pikachu's stats are than Arcanine's, and there's like a few levels difference. <laughs> Pikachu's got like a thousand CP, or over a thousand CP, and Arcanine hasn't even got 800. Actually, how much PP have I got left for Flamethrower? Because I might have to leave this gym just to go heal up. And you got free Pokemon as well, so that's going to waste some more PP. I haven't got much left, I might just go for Heat Wave just to save some flamethrowers. Yeah, seven, let's go for Heat Waves. Oh, this is going to be so good. Alright, more Bell Sprouts? Okay. Yeah, seeing Bell Sprout like that just reminds me of the, um, the Pokemon anime when Ash is in the league and he battles like that woman just destroys our team then gets to the bell sprout and the bell sprout literally destroys like ash's whole team apart apart from the uh what was the last one at the end i think it was no it wasn't pikachu i think bell sprout beat pikachu it beat bulbasaur then it was like a, a, another pokemon it almost beat but that girl's bell sprout was just like the karate master just destroying <laughs> can't remember too well but I just remember the bell sprout being awesome hey chameleon level 30 Sparky 34. Alright, so let's use that rare candy now. And then we got these large candies we can use. Special defense by one. Speed. Let's go for speed. Let's make sure we're pretty fast. Just keep going. And that's attack. Don't need attack. Do a few defense just in case the uh, grass type moves want to do some serious damage. Encourage candy is special defense. Uh, yeah, we'll go dark and why not? And that's just normal speed. Cool. Alright, let's go. I feel like we've got to be close to Erica now. 
don't know if there's any more trainers or not, but I wouldn't be surprised there is. Okay, here's Erica. We're ready. Hello! Lovely weather, isn't it? It's pretty nice. It's so pleasant. And she's... fell asleep. <laughs> Yo, wake up! Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome! My name is Erica. I'm the gym leader of the Celadon City Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are all of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well, but I shall not lose. Alright, bring it on, Zamasu. I mean, Erica. Alright, we're just gonna heat wave and flame for everything. So she has three Pokemon, I'm guessing. Okay, Tangler, Vile Plume, Victory Bell. That's what I'm betting on. Alright. Level 33, that's fine. Flamethrower! So far, so good. <laughs> My Arcanine man. Can't be stopped, won't be stopped. Oh, Weeping Bell, not Victory Bell, okay. Then I'm guessing maybe Gloom? No, I'm, I'm fairly certain she always has a Vile Gloom. I could be wrong. Also, this game, different game, so she, they could always change it. Yeah, Vile Plume. Cool. Whoa, Vile Plume looks massive. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I thought Vile Plume would be a lot smaller. Considering how small Blossom is. It's a very small Pokemon. Alright, alright, Vile Plume. We'll play like that. You'll be the only Pokemon in this gym to live a flamethrower. The worst kind of Pokemon, man. That's fine. Two can do it. There we go. Easy peasy gym. Do even have to use floaty, f floaty fall? I say floaty float. <laughs> oh man, wait, do we get a Venus now? Is it 32 or is it 36? Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. Thanks. Oh, it is uh, Venus or sweet. There's our big boy Venusaur, which I'm going to put in the box now because I don't have to train him up anymore. But I'm going to see what he looks like in the running animation. It's kind of curious. I wonder if we can ride Venusaur. I hug it to the little tree on its back. I don't know. Power Dance? Eh, sure, why not? Actually, uh... Let's give it a Razor Leaf. Why not? I'm not going to be using him. Thanks, Venusaur. You served me well. I must confer on you a rainbow badge. Nice. Rainbow badge raises the level of Pokemon and willing to listen to you to level 50 for Pokemon that you have received from other trainers. And here, if you like, please also take this with you. Mega Drain. Oh, I accept it. Not bad, not bad. All right. Time to explore Celadon City. Oh, Pikachu wants to say something. Yeah, boy. I mean, you didn't do anything. It was all Arcanine, but if I could do this to Arcanine, I would. <laughs> yeah, it does like his belly rub sometimes. It's just sometimes he doesn't. All right. Out we go. Time to do some exploring. Right, so first things first, I want to check what was around here, because that little girl in the corner there. Don't know what that's about, but I'm going to find out. Oh, shouldn't I be able to reach the gym from here? <laughs> uh, not really. Anything up here? Nope, okay. Be a shortcut, so let's go explore and start from here and we'll go make our way around. Salon City is a big place, there's a lot to uh, do, so hopefully we'll get some free stuff. Pokemon, oh no, this is a hotel for people. And we're full up, unfortunately. Oh man. Yippee, I'm on vacation. My sis brought me along, she's the best. Oh, look at them pictures, that, 
That Gyarados and Arcanine pitch, if I can get that in real life, that looks so sick, man. I'd love that on my wall. Oh, man, that's cool. Why? Why did she bring her brother along, too? I don't know, man. Came here on vacation with my brother and my boyfriend. Just the three of us. Isn't settled in a beautiful city. Uh, your boyfriend's a bit disappointed, though. <laughs> See, like, my main goal to, um... We'll explore and look for stuff. It's also free stuff, but I want to see if there's any hints towards Generation 8. Because usually in Pokemon games, you just when you talk to random NPCs, you might get a few hints about things here and then. Okay. That game with the Pokemon fly through the sky is a huge hit. We're positively raking in the cash now. I feel like I'm on Cloud 9. The game with Pokemon fly through the sky? Okay. Don't touch the posters at the game corner. There's no secret switches behind any of them. Okay, good to know. Maybe we offered Pokemon as prizes to the top scorers. We could even make more money. Oh, what? I was, wasn't talking to you. I have a picture of the lady here. Can't interact with it though. Okay. But yeah, like, um, in X and Y, you had the person basically talking about Alola. And I guess, like, kinda, I don't know, maybe Ryuki's a hint towards Generation 8? But we'll see. My Pokemon are weak, so I often buy medicines at the department stores. Oh, that's nice. Hey you, mm, nom nom nom. You know what I heard? Seems there's several floors hidden below the game corner. Oh cool. Yeesh, play so much of the game corner that, that my hands are twitching. Games are way too much fun these days. Ain't that the truth. Okay, I'll eat all the curry they can carry. I'm not a big fan of curry. It's too spicy sometimes. Like, I, I, I do not like... I, I like spicy food, but I can't handle it. That's the problem. Like, I've, I've eaten, like, very spicy food where, like, I've literally wanted to die. And then, like, there's been the the teeniest bit of spice. Like, if you like spicy food and you can handle it, there's, like, the lowest spice you can get. You're proofing, oh, this is nothing. That would that would have me dying, like, if you were eating the hottest thing in the, in the world. Right, game corner we're going to look at last because, you know, that is where we need to go to next. Uh, what else? Sneak around this side here. But yeah. Let's go around and get that Pokeball. I wonder if we get the free Eevee still in this game? I hope so. But then part of me thinks you can't, because I think Pikachu is exclusive to Pikachu and Eevee is exclusive to Eevee. That would suck if that's the case. Is there anything around here? Oh, we got a rare candy. Awesome. Alright, where does this go? To the back of the house. We'll go check that out later on. Do a thing in order. So I've spoken to you, and then... Sup? This is my trusty pal, Poliwrath. Live all from a Poliwell when I use a water stone on it. That's a good question. Where are the Poliwags in this game? I would like a Poliwag. Um... Whoa, okay. So, we've gone way past them. You can get them quite early on in the game as well. Quite rare though. Um, so once we get Fly, I think we'll head back and I'll catch a Poliwag and I'll just do some grinding. I was hoping we'd get like a Poliwag round here-ish so we can just get a high level one. We might be... No, we can't. That's, we might be able to because um, we haven't explored some areas, but like we haven't been over here yet and that's lit up, so that sucks. Okay. Don't worry, we'll get, we'll get a Poliwag at some point. Once we get Fly, we'll get that bad boy. Just means I've got to do a lot of grinding. <laughs> Alright. So usually you can get a free Eevee in here. I think it was in this place. Sup? Being surrounded by my beloved Pokemon while enjoying some rest and a nice cup of tea. When was like these that mean the most to me? Aw. That'd be the best, man. Just like... I just picture like having six Pokemon around me. Just chilling, watching some TV, just cuddling. Being relaxed, that'd be nice. Anyway. Let's go explore around the rest of this uh, apartment, see what we can get. Ooh, what's going on here? I'm having a meeting with an important client. You want to join in? Sure. <laughs> oh boy, must be nice working at a company where you don't ever have to wear a suit. Yeah, boy. Nice to work in a place where you don't have to wear clothes at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, let's go up a little bit and see what else we can uh, we can find. Oh, look at the poster, red, um, red and green. 
Oh, that, that's blue and yellow on the left. I wrote the story. Hey, tell me. Do you think, don't you think Erica is cute? Uh, I like Misty a lot too. Oh, and Sabrina, I like her too. So is this supposed to be Game Freak right here? I'm the game director. I'm very happy that you're playing this game. Good luck with filling up your Pokedex. If you collect all the Pokemon, let me know. So you're the person we speak to to get the shiny charm, I'm guessing, when we complete the decks. Me, I'm a programmer. Okay. I'm a graphic artist. I'm the one who designed you. You did a good job. Welcome, Pokemon Trainer. You probably won't know what I'm talking about, but come back once you've earned a title. Title of Champion, I'm guessing. This Game Freak Development Office. Yeah. Cool. Alright. See, overall, like, my impression of this game so far, it's not bad. I, I, oh, wow, this looks really cool up here. It's not a bad game. Without a doubt. Like, everyone hating on it because they think it looks bad. Like, in my opinion, it's not a bad game. It's just different. Like, do I prefer this or the old classic Pokemon? Obviously, I'll say old classic Pokemon, like Wild po Pokemon Battles. Like, that doesn't bother me too much, but it's some of the stuff in this. Like, if this game had held items, abilities, um, what else did they take out? Abilities, held items. I, d I don't, like, if you could set it to, like, you can have the like this or wild battles that'd be cool you can just do either like I to me I'm not fussed like I like capturing Pokemon I think it's fun and it's just it's just different at the moment I guess but whether or not I'd like it for another game we'll see if they do let's go Pikachu 2 but it's just one of the things you just I don't know it, it's different you know everything okay oh sup as you can see from my notes on the board there's nothing that I don't know I even know that the whole world can be found from inside your Nintendo Switch. So connect with friends and enjoy trading Pokemon with one another. Okay, cool. Okay, I uh, don't need to read that, but let's grab this. Play rough, ooh, good TM right there. But yeah, like, this is not, this is not a bad game. It's a good game. It's just probably not what people wanted or expected. Like for me, I, I enjoy Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. Like, there's parts of Ultra Sun and Moon I didn't like. Like, I kind of wish they kept the story of Sun and Moon a little bit. Like, the whole Lusamine getting taken over. I thought that was amazing. The cutscene looked great, but... Now you can skip cutscenes in this game. If you could skip cutscenes in Sun and Moon, it adds more replayability. Like, they're always improving, which I think is good. Now, it's always good to experiment. And it's not like, you know... We're not getting a Generation 8 game, this was it. Like, they announced that Generation 8 is coming out next year, so... You know, only a year to wait. Plenty of other games to play until then. So do go. I look at the posters sometimes. Not like I need anything here. I just come to meet up with friends. Okay. I'm really hoping this department store has, like, clothing. If I can get, like, a new outfit, I'll be so happy. Oh, thank goodness this department store has benches. You know how... You, uh, you'll know exactly what I mean when you get older. <laughs> Oh, sometimes just your legs start to give out. Right, let's see what we can find in this place. Iron Tail is a steel type move. I make sure it'll, it'll make short work of Fairy, Rock, and Ice type Pokemon. Cool. Tri Attack is a move that comes with a bonus. There's a chance of inflecting a status condition on the opponent. Indeed, it has. Do they sell TMs here then? They must do. Yeah. All right, what do you uh, sell? You got oh Ultra Balls now. Gonna get twenty because they're quite expensive. Right, uh. Don't need hyper potions just yet. I think we're fine. Oh, a super lure? Okay, yeah, let's get three of them. Sure. I guess maybe later on we can get a hyper lure. Maybe. Oh, TM shop. And we got. Oh, you got some. Oh, waterfall. Hyper beam is 100,000! Whew. So the next gym we take on is gonna be, um. Koga, which is poison. So none of these really help. We gotta take on Team Rocket next, which can have a lot of poison, and then Giovanni's gonna have ground type, so maybe Waterfall could be good. And we'll go through the Ghost Tower. So maybe getting Shadow Ball right now would be a good idea. Can anyone learn Shadow Ball? I don't know. 
But it's going to save my money for a little bit, just so we can spend more money on accessories and clothes, because I want to do my guy up. Oh, we're playing Switches. Sweet, this kid, kid says here, train me a Kangas Gone for my Haunter. Oh, okay. Oh, Haunter evolved into a different Pokemon while it was being traded. Nice, dude. Got some posters for uh, Pikachu. Oh, look, you got the um, Pokemon Quest stuff there. <laughs> you can tell which Pokemon you got from the other people because their IDs are different. Cool. I like how there's so many switches in this game. <laughs> Alright, restroom, okay. The new guy was supposed to take over my shift is running late. Yeah, take this thing. If I have to skedaddle, maybe it can inspire you to cover for me. Help in hand. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. Wait. This might say where... Okay, video game shop. Oh, I was kind of hoping it would say, like, what each floor does. We'll to find out ourselves then. Yo, what's up? Is there a Pokemon that evolve when you use an evolution stone on them? Oh. Looks like your Pikachu wants to stick with you just the way it is. Pikachu did not like the sound of that. <laughs> Right, so we need, um... Oh, a nice stone. I think if I trade over a Vulpix instead of a Ninetales, we need to get this to evolve it later on. And then we want to get a Polyrath, so we're going to need a Water Stone at some point. So let's get that. And I think we're good. So, I don't sell them here, but I've heard there are these amazing stones called Mega Stones out there somewhere. Ho ho ho! Be a bit of post-game stuff right there. Hello. Getting a present for my girlfriend. I could give her a water stone, but who knows? Might cause her to evolve. <laughs> evolve into a relationship with someone else, because that's a terrible gift. Oh, man. Oh, I think outside the box, dude. Oh, look. Here we go. Accessories of Pokemon. Let's go. Uh, What do you sell? You got bandanas, flowers, fancy bows, little bows. Um... Let's get a red bow, maybe? Sounds good. And then, uh... Bandana, why not? Oh, look, you got ruby, sapphire, emerald, black and white. Gotta get an emerald. Let's try this. Alright, Pikachu. Wait, is anything else around here? It's just... Oh! And glasses? Oh, you got hats over there as well. Sweet. Uh... Get black. Anything for me or is it just ooh. You get Diglett as a hat? 50 50 Pokemon. I'm gonna Oh my god, you can get a crown! Oh we have to get a crown for Pikachu. Special. It's a million poker dollars! It's a mil it's all oh, it's I need that! Oh, we have to start saving some money. Oh, man, I wanted that crown. 100% if I could buy that, I would buy that. Oh, that is disappointing. Okay, um... Let's get rid of the hat. <laughs> oh, he looks so funny just with a shirt. It looks like he's just, you know, at a wedding party. Alright, glasses. Aw. Uh, accessories. Oh, I got one of his chest. It looks so cute. Oh, that's the bandana. Wait, what? Uh, I was thinking more like a proper bandana, like in um, like Ruby Sapphire Emerald, the character. I thought it'd be like a bit like that. Oh man, our Pikachu looks like a right nerd. I love it! Look at him, he's so cute! Okay. I will get you that crown, Pikachu. Do not worry. Oh. Spiky seems to be curious about the venom machine. Yeah. So we need to get a drink for the uh, the post guy. So let's get a few of these, actually, because... Be good. Oh, he, he wanted to drink it himself. Pikachu, that wasn't for you. I'm pretty sure the tea will work for the guard, but just in case, I'm just going to get... One of each. Alright. Cool. And let's go look around. Sup, Pidgey? 
Uh, wanted to hike all the way to the top of even at a department store. That's the destiny of a true hiker. My sister's a trainer, believe it or not, but she's no selfish. But she's so selfish that it drives me nuts. Okay. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink from the vending machine. Give me her a drink. Yeah, sure. Here, are fresh water. Got a light screen. Oh, okay, it's worth it. So just buy another fresh water, just in case. We've got to start saving that money now. Oh, dude, my life goal has got to be in this game just to get that that crown. It's all I want. It's all I want. <laughs> right, let's leave this place. I think there is that is Celadon City explored now, potentially. So next episode, we can go to Team Rocket's little hideout underneath the game corner. I think. And then over here, should get yeah, blocked by a uh, Snorlax. But yeah, that is Celadon City explored. And well, apart from the game corner, which we're going to do next episode. So, I'm going to end this part here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.